your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is a very tiny joystick. It's actually a plug and play system that I'm going to review today. It just look at that fits in the palm of your hand, has a keychain on it. Very cool keychain, one of the coolest keychains ever. Looks just like an Atari joystick, even feels like it, except miniaturized. It's like a Atari joystick Barbie would use. You have a couple buttons. You have your, but, your fire button and the joystick itself, sturdy, as I said. And this is the game select button. When you're in the game itself, you use this to select the game variation. On the back, there's a little reset button if you want to reset it to go back to the main menu. But it's so tiny, you can't really get it unless you have a pin or something. So it's not very useful when you play it. How does it work? Well, it plugs into this unit right here. You have this kind of headphone jack you plug into the joystick itself. And then you have your standard composite audio mono uh, sound and video cable going on there and inside here you pack in three AAA batteries doesn't it drive you crazy when it's not two or four it's three and an on off switch but there's no light to tell you if it's working but this does work so let's go ahead and take this little guy plug it into the bigger guy which you probably can't carry with you and plug it in my tv and see how the miniature atari joystick plug and play system holds up today let's go to the games the Atari Joystick Plug and Play Keychain was made by Basic Fun and has a copyright year of 2006. Basic Fun actually made three of these, including a second joystick keychain that contained Centipede and Yar's Revenge, and a mini paddle keychain that contained Pong, Breakout, and Warlords. This one I have contains Asteroids and Millipede. When you start it up, you get a simple menu showing you the two games. It might not be clear which game you are selecting at first, but it's the game surrounded by the red oval. When you select the game, you get a single screen briefly going over the game itself, which is a nice touch. The first game is Asteroids. You blast rocks! And it's still fun to play today, and it makes sense for this joystick. The second game is Millipede, the follow-up to Centipede. It is a nicely made game, but with the amount of joystick movement the game requires and the small size of the keychain joystick, it doesn't fit as well as Asteroids does. Graphically speaking, the games look pretty 2600-like, so I doubt most players would have a problem with it. The sounds and music are not the same as the 2600 versions, but I thought they were good enough. I do like the original sounds better, but I am guessing most players won't mind unless you are so used to the original sounds that it bothers you that they had to be changed. At the time I researched on eBay, new versions of this were selling on eBay for $11 to $12, but the only ones that were available were starting at $20, and that includes shipping. So what do I think of the Atari Joystick Keychain? Well, as a keychain, it's really cool. It might be the coolest retro gaming keychain ever made, but as a plug and play system, it's pretty lacking. You're probably not going to carry the battery pack with you, so odds are it won't be as portable as you might have thought when you first picked it up in the store. It also would have been nice if they made a reset button you could have actually pushed instead of having to turn off and on the system to switch games. And two games, while understandable due to the size, is just not enough. But in the end, the real deal breaker is the fact that playing games with a cool but tiny joystick just isn't that comfortable after a few minutes. It works, but with so many other options to play games, it's not very appealing. So where am I going to rank the Atari Keychain Plug and Play System? Really close to the Activision Plug and Play System at number 10. That system was not well emulated, and the joystick left a lot to be desired, but just for the sheer fact that I'd rather play ice hockey on a bigger joystick than use this tiny keychain joystick, I'm going to put the Atari Keychain Joystick just below it in the number 11 position. It's a fun novelty idea and a very cool keychain to carry around, but as a plug and play system, it's not that great. If you enjoy retro lay videos, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons? You can also follow me both on the Facebook or the Twitter. You can also support the show on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash gamer for more information. Thank you for giving me a low part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, everybody.